our world there's animals all around and you have questions can you down ranger ray is here to show by talking to those animal pros at the critter calm we see the world a new adventure will unfold you will become an animal champ here at ranger ray's animal camp <laughs> Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Ranger Ray's Animal Camp. I'm your host, Ranger Ray, and today we've got a mystery that we're bouncing on into today. Why do kangaroos hop? I don't know, but it's driving me hopping mad. But I think with your help, we can figure this out. So without further ado, let's head to the Crittercom. So let's go. Well, hey there, Crittercom. We interrupt this program to bring you a breaking news bulletin. Oh my goodness, what's going on? This just in, Criticom does not want to work today. Oh, Criticom, whew. Oh, you had me for a second there. But how is this a special news flash? You never want to work. I was just trying to mix things up a little bit. Well, for someone who doesn't want to work, you seem to be exerting a lot of energy. Oh, <gasps> you take that back. Yeah, I'm sure it took you a lot longer to make that whole video as a joke than to actually come and do Ranger Ray. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, really? About how long does it take us to film an episode of Ranger Ray? Oh, it feels like an eternity. Critter calm. All right, a couple hours. And how long did it take you to make that news bulletin? Like seven hours. I rest my case. I knew I should have just used stock music and not recorded my own. <sighs> Anyways, do you have a question for me, Ranger Ray? Well, today we're trying to answer the question, why do kangaroos hop? Do you mind calling Kenny the kangaroo for us? Certainly. Oh, good eye, Ranger Ray. How's it going, mate? Hey there, Kenny. Now, we have a question for you. Why do kangaroos hop? Oh, well, you came to the right bloke. That I'll tell you for free. All right, let me show you. Out in the wild, our biggest concern is saving energy. And hopping is a great energy-saving way for us kangaroos and wallabies to get around. It helps us cover long distances without using too much energy. Plus, just in case we get in trouble, it's a great way to pick up speed quickly if we need to, to make a speedy getaway. Oh, so it's the kangaroo super efficient speedy mode. You got it, Criticom. Now, when we hop, we not only use our powerful hind legs, but we also use our tails for balance. In fact, our tails act like a fifth limb, helping us maintain stability and control. Not only while we're hopping quickly, but also while we slowly move. We don't have a true walk, but almost like a small hop. And we use our tails kind of like another leg to keep us stable. Wow, never realized just how useful kangaroos' tails were. Absolutely. Now, Kenny, do kangaroos ever get tired of all that hopping? Well, mate, hopping is our natural way of moving, so he doesn't tire us out like it might for some other animals. We've got powerful leg muscles built for hopping, and it's second nature for us. Sounds like you kangaroos never miss leg day. Where could a comb you could say, every day is leg day for us. <laughs> wow, this has been amazing. Thank you so much, Kenny, for all your help. Ah, no worries. See you later. So kangaroos hop because it's the fastest way for them to get around while also saving the most amount of energy. <laughs> Sounds like you could learn a lesson from the kangaroo here, huh, Crittercom? That's just in breaking news. Ranger Ray is right. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure. Remember, stay wonderful and wild, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Ta-ta!